Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I just wanted to thank you guys for stopping by and checking these videos out from us. Uh, also, you can follow me on social media if you like the content on Facebook and on Instagram. Uh, also, give me a quick like and subscribe. It helps these videos reach a broader audience and it can help a lot more people. It's free, it's easy to do, but it really helps me out and I really appreciate that. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you on the next one. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I uh, wanted to go over a kayak and ki some kayak gear that a lot of us may not have realized that the industry was going this direction, but if you're serious about your kayak fishing, you're gonna wanna check this out. All right guys, what you see here, this is the New Canoe Unlimited. Uh, you can check out New Canoe on newcanoe.com, which you see the way the company's spelt on the back of the chair. They have a full lineup of kayaks. Um, I've got a review I did called Which New Canoe is Right for You. I'll kind of put that up in the top corner here if you want to check that out. But uh, you can kind of see, so look at those transoms. They got the flat transoms on them, so that allows you to do a variety of options for transom mount. But they also do the bow mount. So this is kind of all the craze in the kayak fishing world. This is the Motor Guide XI3 for kayaks. So what makes it for a kayak? It's that 36 inch shaft, which you used to have to do to put a kayak trolling motor on a canoe or a kayak is a lot of people were cutting down the shaft and kind of rigging them up to work, thus voiding out the warranty. This comes right out of the box, ready to put on your kayak. And it's a lot simpler to install than you might think. So New Canoe, uh, again, newcanoe.com, they sell the XI3 on their website. You can also buy it from any motor guide retailer. They also sell the mounting plates. They sell the quick release bracket and they have what they call a plug and play bow mount trolling motor kit. So you can see you've got your plate, you've got your battery box, you've got your wiring. Um, that is a eight gauge wiring, I believe on that. So if you're wanting to go six gauge you may want to you know look at upgrading your wire honestly eight gauge depending on your setup there is going to be more than adequate and then you've got your plug-ins here as well that go on the kayak so you can see the plug-ins here again they mount directly to the kayak um, on the front and the back so this is where you plug in your trolling motor which you can see right here and then same thing on the back. You can see I've got that battery box back there and I'll show you that here in a second. The control, again, it is, it is controlled by a Bluetooth handheld here. So you can see your throttle for the plus and minus for your speeds. You have about 10 different speeds on here and you got your left and right. And there's your electronic anchor. So again, this is the GPS version. You push that button and it uses that GPS signal to drop a pin where you hit that button at and it will maintain that position. The motor is gonna maintain the position. That doesn't mean your kayak is not gonna pivot around that. Uh, your kayak is always gonna be facing into the wind or into current because again, that motor is gonna stay still. That kayak, you know, the, the current can still move that kayak around a little bit. But if you're on open water or a river with some current or you just got some wind, you want to fish an area really hard and don't want to keep grabbing your paddle or pedaling it around. Again, guys, this is a great option. So why would you want to do this? Well, for one thing, this is basically like having a bass boat that you can throw in the back of a truck or a small trailer. You can take the, the kayak motor off really easily just by pulling the pin on the quick release bracket, which you see right here. Again, this pulls out really easy. And it also allows you to take the motor off, take a lot of your gear off. If you're out in public and you don't want your motor exposed there, you know, depending on what area you're in, of course. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like deployed here. So that's what this little foot pedal is. So right there, and you can see here, locks in place. You can adjust the height with this little collar. And that's kind of where I like to have it. I like to have it maybe a few inches below that keel. That allows you to do this in some really shallow water. Uh, and it also gives you enough water to really, pro really propel yourself uh, to the max there. 
So the motor itself is a 55 pound thrust, which is phenomenal. Anything over, in my opinion, a 55 pound thrust on a kayak is kind of overkill because there's only so fast you're going to go. Uh, this on this particular kayak, I've had it up to about five, five and a half miles per hour. So again, you're not going to be winning any drag races in this, but you can sync this motor up to a lot of your fish finders with GPS capability. You can chart your, you know, if you got the, the mapping on there, you can, you know, plot your destination. That motor will sync up and it will take you there. So while this is driving you, you can rig up your gear. You can kind of get prepared to, to, to throw lines in wherever you're going. On the back here, you can see the battery box. This is what comes with that plug and play kit. It's got the strapping with the wing nut and T-bolt that maintains, it really pins this box down, keeps it from moving. And then you can see here your other plug-in where you can just plug and play. So if you're, you know, when you're done, you just unplug your battery, take your battery box off, unplug your motor, take your motor off, and you're back to your stock pedal, you know, paddling kayak. So the Unlimited, as you see here, this, is, this color is called Thunderstorm. It comes in a variety of colors. It's 12 foot, six inches long. The MSRP is $17.99 for 2023. It weighs 84 pounds. It's got a weight capacity of 650 pounds. That is with the scupper plugs in, and the scupper plugs do come with the kayak. So keep that in mind. If you don't want them in, it's 450 pounds, I believe. Now, the scupper plugs, if you're running a trolling motor on any kayak, you're going to want scupper plugs in. I don't care what kayak it is. It's, it decreases your drag. It makes you more buoyant. And it's also going to decrease, if you're really kind of moving, it's going to de decrease all that water chum, all that water churn that's kind of going to be coming through the deck there. Uh, the thing that makes this new canoe really nice, too, is the seat trims the length of the boat so if you got your battery in the back your trolling motor here on the front it allows you to evenly distribute your weight because again you're going to be carrying fishing gear uh, if you're like me your poles and your gear end up in the front here anyway uh, you do have these little access plates on the sides and here on the front if you wanted to mount or run any wiring or electronics like your fish finders your displays you've also got this scupper hole here to run your transducer through you can even run your display right here on the deck of the boat uh, they do have a retractable uh, scupper mounted transducer uh, kind of a simpler setup you just got a little cleat that installs here and a little cord you pull up and down so if you want to protect that transducer and it's got a really large transducer mount underneath there as well so again that's the trolling motor setup on specifically the New Canoe Unlimited. Uh, keep in mind too, depending on what state you're in, you're probably gonna need to register your kayak once you motorize it. Because again, you're no longer propelling your kayak by pedal or paddle, it's now motorized. Uh, it doesn't matter if you got an outboard motor on, it doesn't matter if it's just a simple trolling motor, you usually will have to register it, you'll have to pay for the registration sticker and your alphanumeric uh, on both sides there. So different states have some different rules. I know here in Arkansas, it's $7.50 for three years. Uh, you also have to title your kayak if it's beyond, I think, 2020. Uh, I could be wrong on that year, but, you know, in the last few years, they're requiring you to title them. You're going to need three things, four things usually, your proof of purchase, your receipt, <coughs> or your bill of sale if you did it from an individual, your manufacturer's statement of origin. So that's the paperwork that comes from the manufacturer for this specific kayak that has the whole ID number on it that matches what's stamped on the back. You will need usually a picture of the whole ID number on the kayak to match it. And you need some patience. <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you that right now that a lot of DMVs don't, aren't familiar with registering kayaks, so you may get some confusion there. Just hang tight. Um, this is also the importance of a quality paddle shop a retailer so I know I've helped people through this process many times and again it's not as painful as it sounds or as expensive but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you continue to enjoy these videos thank you so much for the support and we will see you on the next one